Well, your PDF files might be multi-page, very long in fact, or they could have one page with a lot of details and you need to navigate through the pages or the content or even multiple documents. So let's explore some different ways to do that with Acrobat. I'm going to open up a document in here that is a booklet. It's got about eight pages and I can see right away that it has eight pages and that I'm happen to be on page five. And I can actually use these buttons right here to navigate back and forward between my different pages. I'm also here in my page thumbnail, which is a navigation pane, and I can use that to quickly jump to a page simply by clicking on it. And you can see how it's very visual, so it makes it easy to see what page I want to jump to and quickly access it. Now, another set of navigation tools might be the bookmarks. These are set up ahead of time and they get saved with the file and they can even act like a table of contents to quickly jump to different pages. And you can see how I can jump ahead to different pages. Yep. And it is also possible that a file might have some links set up. So here's an example where there's some actual links built into the file and I can use that to jump to different pages or even a link that might be a link to a, not necessarily another page, but in this case, a whole website. Now let's take a closer look at these tools right here. And I can actually customize these tools. I'm gonna right click and add a few more. It's a page navigation. And there are several tools that are actually not turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and show all page navigation. And by doing that, I can actually see a couple other options. So for example, I can jump easily to the very first page of a document or the last page of a document. And then two of my favorite tools over here have to do with the previous and the next view and they act like the forward and back buttons in a browser. So for example, I come here to my look inside and I happen to click on a link and you can see how it moves me to this page, just look inside. If I click on my previous button, it actually takes me back to where I was. And I'm going to go ahead and click on my health insurance. It takes me here and I'll go ahead and previous. And you can see not only did it take me back where I was, but even the different zoom or magnification that I was at. Go ahead and click here on my benefits. Another type of navigations that might be installed on a document, in this case, this document reads with a couple columns and they have an article and you can tell that the hand icon looks a little different than normally. So here's normally the hand icon, but if I hover over this article, I get an extra symbol. When I click on that symbol, it allows me to navigate through this document as I'm reading an article. So I'm reading it logically as an article and as opposed to simply scrolling through. And those are some elements that can be set up ahead of time. And whether your end user is working with this file in Acrobat Pro or in the free version Adobe Re Reader, these different bookmarks and links and navigation options and articles are all available. I could even jump directly to a page. I'm gonna go ahead and type in page seven. And if I happen to know I was working on this, this page or if I was maybe doing a phone call with a client or a um, coworker, I could say, let's go to page seven and take a closer look at that. I'm gonna come over here to a page that is, or a document rather, that's a lot more text heavy. And this document also has some bookmarks set up and it also has some links established in it, right? And again, I can go ahead and turn on all those tools, because I like those features to take advantage of the previous next and the next and last button. Now, something that's a little bit different about this particular document, this text heavy file, is that you notice that the page numbering here is in parentheses. So let's go take again a look at the first file. And you can see it's not in parentheses at all. It's a seven of eight. But when I come back to this text heavy file, it's different. Well, the reason why, let's take a closer look here at page thumbnails, is that this particular document has some sections in it. And so the first page, this landing page, isn't numbered. The numbering actually starts on the next page. And so what you're really seeing here are the difference between physical numbers and logical numbers. And so page one is the logical number, but the physical number happens to be page two. So if I typed in page 50, it takes me to the logical page 50, because that's been set up here in the document. But if I actually were to type in parentheses 50, and I go ahead and press enter, 
it takes me to the physical page 50. And so you can simply use that jump tool and add parentheses to quickly find what you want to look for. And this is a very text heavy file. There are lots of search options, but an easy option is to just use the edit find or control F. And you can also use this to quickly navigate to a document. So for example, I wanted to find reference to a different feature and I can type that in and quickly jump to different elements that reference that particular tool. I'm going to make my way over to yet another file. And this particular file, actually I think it would be easier to see if it were rotated. So I'm going to go and view that, change the rotate view, it's going to clockwise. And so now I can actually see these files and I'm just scrolling here. I'm using my scroll wheel which is equivalent of just scrolling up and down or with the hand tool panning through. So you can do that as well. Ooh, not quite getting there, so I'll use that scroll wheel, it's easier. And as I take a closer look here at commission schedule as well as this chart, I realized that they actually go together, they're, they're related, so it would be helpful to see those two pages at the same time. And in the window menu, you have different ways of viewing that information. So for example, you can split the page and it allows you to see two pages at the same time. You could change your view if you want as well. And so then I can start navigating through and start seeing or comparing different pages. There's also a feature called spreadsheet split. Now, don't let that make you think that you have to have a spreadsheet. You don't. It's just telling you that it's going to split the way that you might see a split in a tool like Excel, where it splits in four different tools. And this could be handy if I had a really large file and I want to be able to see two elements of it on the s at the same time. So I'm navigating between two different areas. And if I go ahead and, and change the zoom in here, it allows me to, well, <laughs> maybe, maybe I need to pick a different zoom, but you get the idea. And I can just double click to start making changes or go back to the window menu to remove the split. And I'll go back here and change the zoom back to actual size so it's easier to see. Now in addition to the window menu, in addition to these split options, you can actually open it up in a new window so you can see the page side by side. So it's the same file, but it's opened up in two different windows. It gives you even more flexibility for viewing pages. And then we also have some features called cascading and tile. And these would allow you to see all the different PDFs at one time. I'll go ahead and cascade. And now I could quickly m go back and forth between, let's say, my handbook and my binder and those different options as well. I'm going to use my star D to show the desktop and I can easily hide elements as well. So these are different ways that you can take advantage of Acrobat features and a few Windows features as well. But you can take advantage of these tools so that you can navigate through documents that are multi-page, very long, or perhaps have a lot of content that you want to navigate through.